in the shop. We do, by you. Yeah. Your shirt is scary. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, first of all, bro, these are going away. Yeah. All right, go. Shush! And your arms. You worked very hard on those. Yeah. Good for you. Okay. So the first question is for Mr. Clancy, and it is. If you had a fast food restaurant like Mr. Krabs, would you run it like him? If not, how would you run it differently? I would not run it like him because it would be underwater. And <laughs> it, would, it wouldn't taste for you. My food would be soggy. How would I run it? I would run it very quickly. I don't know. I've never thought about running a fast food restaurant. <laughs> Did anybody else take this? <laughs> how, about, how, about, how about if it was a fine dining restaurant? Yeah. It would be fine. I would run it fine. Just <laughs> yeah. fine. And my second question is, is there actually a Krabby Patty secret formula or is it made up? Oh, I've always wondered this. Oh, there's actually a Krabby Patty secret formula. Oh, I do it! Oh boy. He's the only one who knows it. And I don't care. <laughs> Wait, so why don't you just show it on camera? Well, I could do that, but then I'd have to kill everybody that saw it. <laughs> yeah. that, that's when you know we jump the shark when we show the Krabby Patty secret formula. <laughs> that will never be done. Yeah, last season. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Brooke. Hi. <laughs> and why do people call SpongeBob SpongeBob SquarePants if he's wearing shorts? That is mm. true. They should call him SpongeBob Square Short Pants. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. more descriptive. Yeah. You're right. Because otherwise, yeah, SpongeBob, yeah, it would be SpongeBob slacks. Yeah. SpongeBob slack pants. So what gave him to, the idea to say SpongeBob square pants? Well, did you know at the beginning he was called SpongeBoy? That's what the name of the show was gonna be really? before it, uh, you know, before it aired. Yeah. And then, and then at the last seconds, I think there was a product like a mop or something called mm -hmm. the SpongeBoy mop. Yeah. So, so they couldn't use that, and so Stephen Hilbert, the creator. Just thought SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob sounded cool, but he had to give him a last name. It just it didn't sound right without a last name. So I think SquarePants was just, it just sounds, those two words sounded good together. Yeah. And just uh, 20 years later, that's still his name. Yeah, that's interesting. I've never knew that. That's pretty good trivia, right? Yeah, Come and on. can you do the laugh of SpongeBob? <clears throat> Let's see. <laughs> no, really do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's as good as you're getting today, Clancy Brown. How did you ever know you could do that? How did That's you know a, you could laugh and do that? Uh, I, you know, that I never could do that before SpongeBob. Yeah. And then it was when we first started working on the character, we wanted to come up with a laugh for him, and we just started messing around with different things. Like I had never really done that before. Like, yeah. I, what, what, when would that ever come up, yeah. right? <laughs> and uh, and we were just trying to make different noises. I thought maybe his. Laugh should maybe sound a little bit like a dolphin or a porpoise, you know. Ah, you know yeah. They make a weird noise, <laughs> or it's close. It wound up sounding more like a lamb. Yeah. But um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that's how it happened. Yeah. Thank you. Well, since we're talking about SpongeBob, we cannot forget about Patrick. <laughs> yeah. So the next yeah. questions I'll are for Mr. Him. Bill. And do you relate to Patrick in any way, like your personalities or your actions? I'm a pretty simple fellow, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like I like simplicity. Yeah. And you like ice cream? And dessert. And dessert. Yeah, <laughs> I do like chocolate. Yeah. I, I love chocolate too. Like, I think ice everybody should love chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. And also, what Patrick do you like better? The stop motion Patrick or the animated Patrick? Well... Like he looks uh, better. Uh, well, the stop motion is more like, it's, like it's an action figure, right? Yeah. So it'd be like a toy. It'd be like a toy you could play with. Mm -hmm. Whereas the cartoon is more what your brain plays with. <laughs> I don't understand what I just said, but yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, I guess I like them both. Yeah. yeah, it's fun to see the characters in a different format, right? We're so we're used to seeing them in 2D mm -hmm. and then we've seen them in, in other formats like in the Sponge Out of Water movie they were yeah. in, right? Like, like 3D computer-y mm -hmm. animation yeah. and in a live action setting, mm -hmm. right? And then when you see these little, uh, uh, what do they call them, uh, ar armatures, mm -hmm. you know, that, that they move a little bit uh, for the stop motion episode, they'll move it a little bit, take yeah. a picture, move it a little bit, take a picture. There's something kind of great about the way that those things move, you know, and it's kind of herky jerky and spooky. almost dreamlike. Yeah, it's kind of spooky. Yeah. Flying Dutchman looks awesome in stop motion. Yeah. yeah. 
Armature, he's right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Yeah, that was great. Uh, <laughs> so, um, moving on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so the next ones are for Mr. Roger, and they are, what's your favorite thing about Squidward? My favorite thing about Squidward? Oh my god, you know what, Brooke? You're talking an awful lot. You're babbling, Brooke! Ha! Sorry. Um, the favorite thing about Squidward is he gets to be this this crazy ob 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 observer of the insanity around him. He just sits there and, and is so sarcastic. And how did I ever get stuck with such loser neighbors? But he gets too much for him sometimes, and he goes apoplectic, and he gets to scream and yell and, and do all kinds of gibberish stuff. So it's good therapy for me. Yeah, you can just lose it. I Squidward lose it. is kind of this the sanest person in Bikini Bottom yeah. when you get around to it. I like Scooter because like if you can do anything to him, like if Plankton tries to steal something, he's just like, cool. Like he has no care. Whatever. I just don't care. Whatever. That is whatever. He's yeah. such a yeah. good clarinet player. Oh yeah. yeah. I think it's the only thing you love, right? The clarinet, that's it. Oh yeah, that's it. I, I paint self-portraits a lot too. Yeah. Yeah. And dance. Really good ones. <laughs> and yes. modern dance. Modern dance. Yeah. Sure. Interpretive dance. Yep. Canned bread. Riding a bicycle, which is my bicycle, by the way. Mm -hmm. well, they came up with that idea. I ride a recumbent bicycle, and um, they, they, uh, Stephen uh, saw that and he put it kind of into the uh, cartoons. Well, yeah. Whenever you see his on, on his bicycle, it's really mine. Yeah. If you could change anything about Squidward, what would you change? Um, ever so often he would win, and and maybe wouldn't have a nose that looks too much like mine. <laughs> <laughs> He does have a big nose. Yeah, he does. <laughs> so like, he, he does have a big nose. Good, good, good. And the next, my final two questions, and all this is for Miss Caroline, yes. they are, um, do you like Sandy as a land creature, or would you want her to be a sea creature? Oh, gosh. Well, shoot. I, uh, I like both. Yeah. Because I, I, I can do either thing. No, it's great. It's great having both because a squirrel should be a squirrel right on the land and she gets to have those adventures up above the water. She gets to bridge both worlds. But as a scientist, it's super fantastic to be underwater. Do you mean like maybe she yeah. should evolve? No. Like, I... a, like get gills? <laughs> right? like, like really get some kind of crazy surgery? Well, I'm sure I can cool invent something. I can come up with gills. <laughs> <laughs> I like Sandy as a land creature because you know she's different from all the rest. Mm -hmm. So it's cool. And um, what is your favorite thing about her? Like, um, my favorite, well shoot. My favorite thing, actually I like that she is fearless. Yeah. She'll try anything, she'll do anything, and she doesn't give up. I like that. She's like this strong power. Yes, exactly. And smart. Yes. Yes. And Science. Good. Right. I like her inventions. She's always inventing things. She's, yeah. she's kind of like pointed in that way. Yeah, she's yeah. smart. Well, those are all the questions. So. Thank you, Ms. Thank Brewer. you, guys. Thank you, Brewer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.